Hello, family and friends. Welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird. All right, and this is your daily message. Today is December 7th, guys, when this message begins. But you guys know my messages are timeless. So whenever you are seeing it, you're meant to see it. Okay, guys? All right, let's jump right into it, guys. Keep in mind the energies can fluctuate back and forth. Any third-party energies that pick up between you and your person, I will call it. All right, jumping into this thing. So what has been going on is what I'm picking up here is there's some kind of mishap in this relationship when it comes to this connection. Gemini and Scorpion energy that could have just um, happened between you and this person. It could have caused you to feel like you want to walk away. It could have made you feel like is this why this person is walking away or something like that and not giving you some kind of offer here. Um, Aries towards um, pent uh, pentacles. This is also you and the um, or this person could have walked away and offered something, someone, um, so, okay, somewhere else, time somewhere else, you know, things like that. They just, you know, they went somewhere else. They could have walked away from you, all right? Um, now, for some of you guys right now, you might have gotten some kind of acknowledgement, Three of Cups with the King of Swords here, about this kind of information or whatever this is. This is something you, some of you guys could have even found out online. Someone here could have even told you to look at something online or something they saw online or told you something they heard about online as well here for some of you guys. Um, and, you know, you could have just, you know, really, really, really put your guard up. And you're guarded right now. Sagittarian energy, Cancerian, Aquarian, and um, Capricorn there. When it comes to your divine counterpart, where this is emperor energy. This is someone that is operating in their masculine energy, whether you are female or a masculine. I also could be talking to the same sex relationship. Um, now, there's judgment caught here. I do see someone you guys are willing to open up about a conversation, about things that you, you know, you're not going to stand for, things that you didn't appreciate, even things that hurt you. Also, someone here don't like other um, people in a business. Someone here could have told a group of friends or something could have been said and it was none of their business. I feel like someone here, you might have been keeping this a little bit hush-hush. And the other person might have slipped up and said something. And it caused friction here in, in, in this, like, connection. When friends and other third parties get involved, they will try to control what's going on, what they think you can do. It's almost like everything goes fine. And then when you announce to everyone that you're in a relationship, you find all the dirt, all the secrets, everything that you never ever freaking heard, excuse me, Damn it. you know, in your life about this person seems to come out. But also, um, some of it could be true here and some of it isn't true between you and this person. You might have found out there is some truth to some of these things, but some of these things are not true. I'm just going to say that here with the King of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Nine of Wands being here. This is also someone here that wants to clear up some things. Um, and they could be very defensive. That's why they're in a nine of wands energy in their Chiron. When it comes to whatever this is, why they walked away or why it forced you to walk away in the past. All right. This is you want to give someone clarity or someone wanting to give um, you clarity. Now, for some of you guys, someone, the King of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Three of Cups, um, I could see this just being a no. You just feeling like, I'm just going to walk away. I hurt for now. For some of you guys, you feel like you want to walk away from now until so this person makes a move on you, towards you, some kind of offer, give you something to go on. Because there's too, there's a lot of confusion. Um, There's too many... Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Is that how they say it? I think that's how it is. How go? I'm hearing it. If I'm hearing that right. In this situation, yeah, there's too many. Your ancestors might talk like that. 
Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. That's what the ancestors are saying. Now, this person here, and you are opening up, you know, to talking to this person. But for now, you're like, I'm doing me. This person is doing them. So why I ain't I doing, um, you know, doing me? Yeah, when it comes to this connection. All right. Um, also, someone here is, is thinking about this. This is also someone here that's thinking or, or like, damn, why did I walk away? What offer? Why they didn't make this offer? There, This is someone that could be thinking about how to tell you why they didn't make this offer towards you in the past as well. They're very defensive, even nervous. They're trying to find the courage. I heard courage. And they just showed me a big lion. That's possibly why I'm pulled to my spirit guide deck for your oracle closing out messages today. Because judgment is being called. They're already dealing with this emotionally, spiritually. And now they got to come and deal with this to you face to face. This person is uh, moving very, very slow. Because to them, you're the um, the queen of this. Alright, Sagittarius Capricorn Energy. Now, for some of you guys, you do have two people in your energy. This person does wonder, uh, um, and this could be also someone here that wonders, you know, if, you know, are you going to retaliate? Or are you going to listen to them? Or maybe even if you do accept this conversation, are you still going to be pushed in the arms of another uh, man or um, another woman? Now, for some of you guys, Epic. You know, I've got to call it because um, I see it. Someone here has had three connections um, since you. And none of them worked out. Okay. This person could have been the king of pentacles and the king of swords to somebody. All right. And to two other connections because we have two kings here. The overall energy is the emperor. This is what they want to be to you. It doesn't get no better. This is the emperor. He embodies all kings. Okay. So other people have gotten reflections of them. This person feels like they want to give you the whole thing. Or you got their whole heart. Or, oh my God. Baby, I promise that I'll stay true. I never went home, and baby, I promise. Jagged edge. Girl, okay, y'all, my hummingbird voice ain't all together yet, but this person. Sometimes I think I'm dreaming. I pinch myself to see if I'm awake enough. Oh, is it real? What I feel, could it be you and me till the end of time? Take my heart, hold it tight, it's you. Oh my God, I gotta be the one you need. Baby, I gotta be the one you love. Oh my God, I gotta be the one you feel. I gotta be the one to feel like it's sunshine. I gotta be the one you know. Don't y'all have me turn in a jacket edge in here. Cause I will always love you so. Alright, it's still early. My hummingbird voice, y'all hear me? I still sound like a man. In great to bound, they're all around. Alright. Dang, don't come for me in the comment. But that's my that's my shit, Nick. All right, wait. Let me write this down so I can hashtag this. Hold on. I gotta be the one you know, cause I will always love you so. Oh my gosh, y'all. Now that explains this. A moment. Of regret. This person is in a moment of regret because you belong to their dream. I gotta be the one you know. Cause I will always love you. This person's on some jagged edge shit. And some of you guys that aren't jagged edge fans, you should it's a very beautiful song. Um I'm going to hashtag it in the description box so you could know the name of it and look it up. It's called Got to Be by Jagged Edge. Such a curious dream you are. Look, you belong to 
um, your own dream. Such a curious dream. This person is curious about this dream that they know that you are a part of between them. This is someone that knows that you're a part of their destiny and the cure. Honey, and they, this person has a cure. It's beyond curious. And they regret the nonsense that happened between you and them. Yeah. Child, I'm about to really sing this Jacket Itch song. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's 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 do some clarification. So no wonder why your Oracle messages came out. Let's see what's on the bottom of this deck. Hold on, y'all. What's this? Yeah, I want to be your queen. This is energy. This is somebody that wants to be your queen or your king. Because they got to be the one to feel like your sunshine. I got to be the one you know. Because I will always love you so. Jagged edge. I got to be the one you feel. All right. <sighs> now, we should be. Okay. Now, I, I really kind of. Okay, let's, okay, I can't, I know, I know, I know, I can't stand myself, you know child, I know. Wait for it, damn it. Child, I know. Now, yes, so for some of you guys, this person had another connection. For others of you guys, this person has had two connections before they have came or coming back to you. Because this is someone that's coming back. This is in the future energy. This is why this is a lot of cups in air here. When it comes to the one's energy, is coming out very defensive. The nine of ones. I want to see what this king of pentacles is. This person was an Aries and Taurus with some a other relationship. What is the king of this? Care with the lover's card in reverse, please. Damn. Okay. Uh, okay. This, this, okay. I'm going to tell you something. Uh-huh. Child. Now... I'm going to call it because it's here. This is someone here. They were a knight of cut to this person. Truly. But they made it seem like they were the king of this. It could have caused a lot of arguing and fighting. There could have been an emotional state here. Because what they offered is not what they were giving here. Yep. And it put them this relationship in the four of cups. Yeah. And then the five of cups. A lot of sorrow and grief. Yeah, honey, the ki the queen of swords, and they cut it. Got it. It was cut off. The nine of wands. This is also why this person could be also in the nine of wands energy of coming towards you. Hell yeah, that is why we got the eight of cups and the king of swords. <laughs> so you guys know here, um, here, yeah. This is also someone, yeah, the Will of Fortune is here with the King. Now, the King of Pentacles is the King of the Bag, honey. Um, this is someone here. Hell yeah, because see the, um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just seen something. Someone here, the same offer that they could have made to you. Um, they also made to someone in the past because they see you as the queen of this and the king and the queen of this is here. They may, they could have offered you something with the king of swords and, the, and, 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 and obviously, yeah, they gave it to someone else. That's another, that's another reason why the nine of ones is here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Damn it, damn it, damn it. And it damn didn't it. work out. And if this person in you with the emperor energy here manifested off each other's energy when i'm talking about sex sexual energy exchange and they manifested off of you twin for you guys that are connected with the twin flame energy they gave that to someone else and it deteriorated you got to understand it's not whoever they gave it to it's not their energy it's yours that will always happen Show me something else with this nine of wands. Yep. Mm -hmm, what I tell you? Hell yeah. They because they asked was lying. I told you the Queen of Pentacles. What I tell you? They gave. Oh my oh, gosh, y'all. I'm telling you, and that's what happened. Yep. The King of Pentacles and here it is. I cannot make this shit up. 
They gave it. To, they gave this to someone else in the past. The Ten of Pentacles, and that's why. Yep, the Four of Ones, the Knight of Ones, and the Four of Swords. Child, and that's the and that's another issue here. Um, the the biggest regret that this person has is that they gave something that, that either for some of you guys they promised to give you. And for some of you guys, they were they they knew they should have given you, and it passed to someone else. You might have already got some knowledge, reflection, or saw something like that. And I want to say thank you, Holy Spirit. Yep, I just asked the, what the King of um, Spirits is, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, yep, the Nine of Wands. I told you, and that's also the Nine of Wands, the King of Wands. And this is someone here that's ready to take some le leadership, or they're inspired now. Yep, yeah. To, 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 they want to do this quickly. Three of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Swords to just have this conversation with you. Mm hmm. The King of Wands is here. Um, I heard, I heard Golden Girls. I want to see something else. Okay. That's right. All right. The King of, um, uh, uh, the King of Spirits. Now, for some of you guys, like I said, this person has did this one. In one connection here for some of you guys, you know, they had another connection before you. For some of you guys, they had two connections before they plan. They, they're coming back towards you. Let's just be clear. That deserves a big, fat, damn it. Now, for some of you guys, you're going to resonate with one of the, one of, um, one of the, one of, the, just one connection they made before you coming back towards you. And for some of you guys, you're going to resonate with two here. So, um, if this is you, we're going to also look at the other connection. And it's the King of Spirits. That didn't work out. Okay, this is a relationship. Oh, shit. This is a relationship that... This was... I got to say something. Someone here was a sneaky link. This person also had a sneaky link for some of you guys as well. And for some of you guys, like I said, they had a sneaky link here. Yep. That they were high and um, here. Yeah, and it ended. Yep, a page of ones and a ten of swords. This is also someone for some of you guys with the page of ones. It, it, it could have been very immature. I heard just a fling um, here. It even could have been someone younger here. Yep, five of swords. This is, I heard they talked for a little bit. Yep, the world card. It was a quick, they also had a little fling with someone here. All right. Um, that you didn't know about. This over here. So for you guys that are resonating with this person having two connections before you um this over here was a little bit more serious than this they had here and for others of you guys is one or the other let's look into your future energy now like i said they still hold you as the queen of this okay and this is someone they when they come forward towards you not only do they want to be the king of this because they recognize you as the queen of this but they're coming in their emperor energy that's why they're gonna knock that jagged ass shit uh, damn it. all right they got to be all right so you know that um here yeah now judgment in the night of this this is why the judgment is here it's because of all this shit we're going to also clarify some um some you know um other judgment card here all right What's the judgment? I might be before this one. What's the judgment? Oh. Okay, yeah, the Ten of Cups in reverse. I told you. The, I'm not giving you the Ten of Cups. Yep, to you. The Queen of Discs. I can't make this shit up. Okay. I'm like telling so y'all, yep, off. the strength card, and that's what it is. This person is, that's that's what you guys got to understand. That's why there's so much walking. I'm sorry. Okay, this person take walks when they think about you. Because I was about to say, thinking, watching you, walking, thinking about you. Um, this person could be into walking if they're jogging, if they're a walker, if they're exercising. They do. They think about you. This is also someone that's keeping up with you, keeping up with things around you to stay connected to you. Um, because this is someone here in Lion Energy. They are trying to build up the courage. All right, let's see if there's any more, anything else on this situation that we need to know about. So we're going to pull the situation ship deck, guys. Oh, hold on, y'all. Oh, all right. Okay, let's pull the situation ship deck. And let's see. Anything else we need to know on this situation when it comes to the judgment? Holy Spirit. 
Your person could have like a big goat here. I'm burning a big um, chain with a cross on it. Maybe they used to or at some point when you guys date. They're dated, take it how it resonates. See, that's what I'm saying. And this is what they per this person is nervous about. Poison, toxic, unhavored behaviors from people. Because they have gotten, I heard entanglement. I just heard on Jada. It was a little entanglement, Will. You know, with somebody. Yeah, close it and they're frustrated. Because they feel, um, a lot of you guys, they make soul ties with people. I mean, that's how you make soul ties. Yep, anxiety. Yeah, I told you. This person is anxiety. This is someone here, yeah. Ghost it, block, and cut off. They feel this energy. This is why you feel this energy in there in this ghosting, blocking, cutting off energy here. This is someone here, um, you know... Shit, it, it's self-explanatory. This is why that, that energy is here. You feel, I can feel it in this reading. Um, I want to know what the Knight of Pentacles is. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone here that wants to put away their, I told you, escapade, vacation, hideaway, and adventure. This is someone here that wants to put away, put this behind them. Yeah, settlement. This person could be ready to settle down. Yeah, because I, I always tell you the Queen of Pentacles is wifey, is someone that has marriage. Um, yeah, you, I, I got a deal. Yeah, here it is. Jack of the Edge. Yeah. Yeah, they, they done. Yeah. Now, someone here could be dealing with some child support. Just so you know that. I was just going to say that because the Sun Court does recognize a baby here. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, shout. Yeah. All right, I'm going to see what else real quick, guys, real quick. Anything we need to know. Give me more of the settlement. What does this person want with the collective in the future with the settlement court? Your person could be into wine. You could be into wine. I heard Pina Grigia. Did you drink? I'm smelling wine. I'm seeing a wine glass. Yep, the emperor's coming to make you an empress. Yep, that's what they want. Five of swords and a seven of wands. This is someone that wants to protect you. Mm-hmm. They want it because this is emperor energy. Yeah. I told you. They, you got to be. Jagged edge. Emperor, empress energy. All right. Like I said, this is future energy. Yep, they're coming to give you... So you might not see this coming. This is also someone here that could be getting help from um my, they're they're gonna get help from someone to help them out with this because they need it. Yep. There's someone that's gonna open up to you spiritually as well when it comes to this cup. Alright, they're coming to give you their full cup, the emperor. They this is someone that has never had a relationship where they were their full self. They've been a king of pentacles. They've been a king of swords. For some of you guys, they've been both. But this is someone they know now they're ready to be the emperor and they, you match that fly. Empress. You need to, um, some of you guys, you need to keep shining. Some For some of you guys, it is your divine energy. Yeah, honey. Yeah, and you need to keep investing into that. Now, for some of you guys, you, I heard, um, keep, uh, so, okay. So, for some of you guys, yeah, you need to keep getting, keep, um, you know, healing is self-love. So, some of you guys have really been practicing self-love and it looks good on you. That's also laws of attraction here. All right, now, what's blocking you guys here, um, is, um, the hair front. Let's see what that is. I'm being pulled to this set. What is the hair front? Taurus energy. Oh, what's the hair front? Why is there hair front here? The chariot. Okay, some of you guys. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to um let go of um codependencies. Now, the devil card is, like, talk. That's what came out. Unhealthy, poison. 
you guys are going to have to talk about whatever this toxic thing is in between you guys so you can move forward in this relationship, in this connection, in this spiritual contract. Now, for some of you guys, it's going to take for you to work on yourself individually and this person to work on their self individually. And then you guys come together and the universe is going to help you with that with the universe card here. Hell Yes, for a pentacle, so you guys can be able to manifest this. Okay, guys? So this is, um, I like it. Let's dip a little bit into the devil court. Now, God and the devil's here. Ooh. Yep. Mm-hmm. And look, that's what it is. We have DK Pray here and Dreamer. Do not get in your head and let these poison, unhealthy behavior, thoughts, and or patterns that the devil and tactics that the devil uses to confuse this connection with you, all right, and make you lose this connection with your person. Because you guys need to talk, and because of this, you got to understand the devil will use things around you, people around you, situations around you. You know, happiness is not his plan for you, okay? All right, to, yep, and that's the truth here. All right, for some of you guys here, you, yeah. With the Page of Swords here, guys, you're going to also have to be careful and watch out from spiritual attack. And that's what, what the, especially when it comes to the Three of Cups energy. Because for some of you guys, these spiritual attacks will come from other people when you guys try to come together in the future. Girl, well, you know, did you hear what he did? You know, well, boy, I thought you said she did this, man. You know, for real. You guys have talked. Y'all have helped from that. It's not for everybody. Do not let the devil get in your head and start to play games with you and your person. And, you know, you miss out on the healing part of this relationship. But this is what you guys choose to do. It's like I always tell you guys, this is your life of your relationship, not everybody else's. You're in a relationship with your person, not everybody else here. Yeah, two of wands. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Two of wands. So be careful of mental spell work, little she devils, little, you know, uh, male devils, the devil itself, um, getting into your mental, um, space area, um, and you falling for things or they're getting into your head here and confusing you about your relationship. They're showing me save the last dance. I don't know why. Yep. And putting you in the nine of ones. So for some of you guys, that is also your nine of ones. Um, so they're showing me the last dance. Now, in the last dance, she, um, remember how they were getting in her head about the relationship with him and her, and a lot has to do because of their ethnic background. You know, she was, you know, um, a white girl, and he was a black guy, and they had to go against that. You know, at the beginning, everything was cool, but everybody had something to say. You know what I'm saying? But they had, they knew what they already had. They had to fight for it. They had to, they, you know, they, it's like, you know, that energy's here. It's like, you know, like he said to her, fuck what everybody says. You in it for me or everybody else. I have to fight for this relationship what people think about every day. But I'm here. I'm here with you. He literally said that to her in the day. That's what they're showing me. Um, yeah, and there's so much they want to tell you. This is something, this is what you guys will have to work on. That's your nine of wands as well. Yeah, this is the end. And for some of you guys here, until you guys express this and be willing to do this, this could be the end of this connection. All right, I'm going to see what this person wants to tell you real quick. And then we're going to pull out the likely outcome and the overall messages. Ooh, jealous and possessive. I dive in and out relationships. I mean, we cleared that up here and we saw that shit. And for like, and like I said, for some of you guys, take the part that resonates. Um, they feel like they can't give you what you need right now. And they feel terrible for hurting you. All right. I mean, that's clear as day. And I told you, this is someone that definitely checks on you from afar. Yeah, this, okay. Now, yeah, they do. And they are still very, very much attracted to you. This one, this person is very passionate. This is something that um, they definitely, um, want, I told you, but the, when they're coming in, this is someone here, they're coming in as the Knight of Pentacles, but they plan on becoming the Emperor and the Empress relationship with you. All right, they're coming in as the Knight of Wands as the outcome. The Knight of Pentacles popped out earlier. Don't forget that. The overall energy is the Emperor because this is someone that planned. They know that you're their Empress. So, yeah. 
they're very passionate about this, but this is someone here until they, they this is the healing energy that they gotta they gotta do. Let's clarify the nine of wands. And this person is very passionate about this. I wanted that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they want to give you clarity. Yep. To put yep, what I tell you, the ace of swords. The page and the ace of swords. Um, yep, three of swords. About why this third party was here, why they broke your heart, why this didn't happen, you know, that kind of thing. Point blank period. All right, I just want a little something here to clarify the Knight of Wands, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What we got? Yep, and that's the Hermit. That was the Hermit here, yeah. Of ghosted blocking you off, walking away, you know, making things little to nothing here. You know, not checking on you. But someone here, they do. Someone here wants to come over to your house. I hurt your place to when they, when they um, have this conversation with you. All right. Um, okay, guys. So let's get some overall messages from you and your person. Start closing this out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yep, love. Learn in moment. That's what it is. That's it. Right now, we're in the energy where the, a lot of these spells, like I said, is so above and so below, is breaking. All right? or And it's like the masculine energies, alpha female masculines, male masculines are waking up to like reality and what's going on. So there's a lot of cup energy. Cup energy is intuition, is emotion, is your feelings. Okay, um, and these are masculines. Is that's why in the future you're seeing the offer, pentacles, um, the movement, ones. Okay, yep. What I tell you, dreams, bond. Yep, and labyrinth. And I just said this. Even when you feel lost, there's always a way through the labyrinth, and that's what the energies is. And I know you guys feel. I mean, this energy is so fickle. It's crazy to me. All right, I'll get you guys a quick love oracle message. Okay. Codependency, what I tell you, sideways. And I, I feel like, like I said, for that's both of you guys. We clarified that earlier. Free yourself. And that's what this person is doing. Codependency relationships also for your person. Yep, religious factor. This is someone that's dipping more into their spiritual sense of things, their higher self and their higher consciousness. This is someone here getting to know each other. Both of you guys are going to have a whole new energy towards each other. That's going to feel like getting to know each other all over again. Freedom. Eagle and mastery. Okay. Can I get a spirit message for the collective? What is the spirit message here? I'm close this up for the collective. Oh, shit. Oh, what's the spirit message? Oh, my beautiful universe. Okay. Oh, that was a lot of cards, guys. All right. So we have patience. This is someone that's asking for patience. Personal choice in reverse because they know they made the wrong personal choice here. Um, we have polar bear mystic. Yeah, this is someone here that's trying to get yourself out of a situation they got frozen in. Action in reverse. Um, realm. Yep. Perseverance. This is someone here that is, I told you, they're going inner to work on their self. Swan energy. The beauty within. Also, swans mate for life. That's where they see you at, Emperor, Empress. Um, butterfly rebirth um, in reverse. This person is still going through a transformation period. Okay. Um, hummingbird miracles, honey. What I tell you, child, now this gives you confirmation. What I tell you, this uh, welcome to your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the hummingbird. The hummingbird ain't gonna lie to you, baby, because this person wants to come in. I promise that I'll stay true. I'll ever, ever say it ain't so. Some of you guys, you really need to listen to that song. 
Yeah, because this person, I'm telling you, that's how they coming in. Yep, independent. <laughs> Cat. This person is watching you, and this is also someone that definitely has other people watching you. All right, let's read it. Hummingbird Miracles. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positive positivity and love energy stores on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. You could be, um, your person could be into poems, art, art, some kind of art here, dancing. You could be, um, art covers, dancing, paint, and ding, ding, music, um, writing. It's expression. That's your art. Art is in the state of creation. So whatever you are creating from your soul, your spirit, from your intuition, um, when you dig deep is your art. Boom. There it is. You could be connecting with a person like that or you are like that. This person also sees that. Hmm. All right, guys. This was dope. I love this energy coming in for you guys. You know, um, I know there's challenges, especially on these journeys that you guys are going through, especially with the new energy that we are under. It's very, very fickle energy, guys. But, you know, we're going to get through them, all right? And we'll do it together here on Spiritual Nourishment. We are family. We live, love, and cry together. I love you all. Stay dope. Don't forget, hit that like, hit that bell, hit all. That's you. Stay connected. You're in a dope on this channel. So when you are coming into your messages, they're here and already prepared for you. That's how you stay tuned in and connected. And whether part of this message is resonating with you all or the whole message does, keep in mind, these are general messages, guys. Got your own eyes, cross your T's. Also, these are timeless. I love you. Stay dope. Next video upload. I'll share in a month.